Sometimes we have to be confronted by our past. And sometimes it's okay because then you realize that you're healed and past everything and now you can move forward. What's up everybody, it's Grim, and thanks so much for joining me here on today's video where I have a lot to talk about, things that you guys want to talk to me about. I put out a Q&A on Twitter and you guys sent me a bunch of questions. So thanks for watching the video. Please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, tap the bell, turn on the notifications because Grim is going to answer your questions. And Gregory Kramer asks, did Molly pass her driving test? If you've seen my last video, you've seen we were talking all about Molly going to get her driving test today. She was going to buy a car. She passed the test. This was an exciting time. And she did it. She nailed it, you guys. I was so proud of her. Because she had the best teacher. I mean, let's just be honest. But, yes. I led my daughter to victory. I coached, this was my first real like coaching success of my child into her adult life. I taught her how to ride a bike. I taught her how to drive a car. I helped her buy a car. I just broke my cell phone. Send help. Molly did a really, really good job today. She really put on her big girl pants and really adulted the crap out of herself today because like Molly really adulted herself today. She made money. She's gone to work. She's had a job for the last year and a half. She saved up her money. And she picked out a good quality car. Not just, Dad, this one looks cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, she did all the right things and made all the right choices. I'm proud. So proud, dude. Like, like this is like proud dad day. You know what I'm saying? You want to talk about... Whew, yeah, it's a good feeling. But yes, did I have to confront my past? Yes, I had to see... The Red Mist Period Dragon. Heal wife. But that's not like a thing anymore. You know what I'm saying? That's she's just ex-wife now. And that's five years ago. And and now we're just there to support our kid, passing the test and buying a car. You know what I'm saying? And she was there with her dude Ryan, and I was there with Tina, and everybody got along, and we rooted on our daughter to victory and buying a car. And it was it was it was a good it was a good day, you know. So, like I said, it didn't have to be a bad thing. There's no bad terms, and that's a good thing. Shadow Demon asks, "What's the most fun thing you did this summer?" <sighs> it's a little too spicy to talk about. Uh, we'll discuss that on other wrong platforms. Nick from MTV asks, "Grim, how are you doing? Better or worse?" I'm doing better. I'm doing good right now. As a matter of fact. Things are kicking some ass right now. We got GTS. We're fighting against Pro Wrestling Venom. We got a really crazy thing going on over there. And it's really been exciting. People have been way into it. Brandon Luch asks, when are the fan mail videos going to come back? You guys remember, I used to sit in open fan mail. Like, I used to get buckets of fan mail every single week. And it was got to the point where, like, I couldn't keep up. I could have live streamed 24-7 and I never would have opened all that fan mail. And I feel like... At some point, people just said, well, Grim never read my letters. I'm not sending anything else. And it was like, the, the whole thing of it was, I really just opened the packages. Remember, I never read the letters. I said, reading is for prisoners. I always thought reading letters was super boring. And you guys could, like, text me or email me. i like, if you want to send me, like, oh, my God, he sent me Charlotte Flair. Ah! And then, like, I use it in a video and stuff. Like, that was so much fun. But, like, I think people just, I don't know, like, maybe I didn't use their stuff. Or maybe they just, I ran out of people that enjoyed sending me things to use on my show. I don't know. I don't know what really happened, but I still have the P.O. Box. P.O. Box 371, Island Heights, New Jersey, 08732. Guys, send me stuff. But don't send me letters, because I'm not going to read them. Send me packages. Send me stuff to open. Me and Tina will sit here and have a blast opening packages. So let's do this. Mike Gooch. He's a great photographer, and he asked my thoughts on the Grimmamania photo shoot. He was at Grimmamania, not this... No, yeah, no. He was at Grimmamania this year, and he did such amazing photographs. And it's like, yeah, so you guys got to follow him on Twitter so you can check out all the amazing photographs. He put out, what, two, three hundred from Grimmamania? And, like, candid shots, you know what I'm saying? These are, like, like me holding the camera and, like, really cool stuff. And, and it's wild because... Grimmamania, the beginning of the year was, what, March? And now we're in October, and it's like half that roster is already different. <laughs> so many people. So a lot of people that were at Grimmamania aren't even on GTS anymore. I had to 
fire at them. Terry T. Bone Williams says, will you bring back action figure wrestling videos? Well, you know what? I'm glad you asked because I actually, I, you know, we've been doing this a while, right? And I love hanging out with you guys and I don't want that to end. I want to keep it going. So how am I going to keep it going? Well, you know, sometimes you kind of, kind of shift things around, do things a little differently. I want to play action figure videos. I love doing that. And I have a whole separate channel for it. Grimm's Toy Show, which used to be the name of this channel. Now this is Grimm Experience. But the Grimm's Toy Show channel, I'm setting up the toy room. Look, I got the figures. I got... We got GTS figures, we got AEW figures, discount code Grim6, 10% at WrestlingFigures.com. We got WWE figures. We could have like the forbidden dorks, like the most forbidden door figure pay-per-view of all time on my Grim's Toy Show. And I really want to do that. And I want you guys to watch it. So I feel like if you guys are like, hell yeah, we want to see it, then I'm like, hell yeah, I'm going to do it. I want to start making at least one a week, right? Maybe one every other week. I don't know. I'd like to do one a week. But I, I just, I feel like weeks are days now. Like the, the day used to be a day. And now all of a sudden a week feels like that day. And I'm like, what? I thought it was one day and it was a whole week. I don't know. As you get older, time goes faster. And you want to know why that is? When you're 10, one year of your life was like, that's 10% of your whole life. So a year was 10% of your whole entire existence. It feels like forever. Oh, well, you're 45. One year is a very, very small percent of your entire existence. That's why it feels like it goes by so much faster. So the older you get, the faster time goes. So if you think like you don't have time now, wait till you get older. Big Boy Daily asks a crazy one. Any occurrences of paranormal activity since being back in this house? This is something I didn't want to talk about, okay? Things have been wonky. Things have been weird. But guess what? You guys are really now I know you're nuts, Grim. Now I really know you're higher than an eagle's ass. I don't think it was a ghost. I don't think it was an entity. I think it was me. And you're like, oh, what, what fake? No, 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 no. It's my energy, you dude. Like, it, it's not another entity that would make stuff happen. It was my own energy making things happen. Because they still happen, but like, very, very much related to me. And, and you can ask Tina. And Tina could probably sit here and tell you guys. So if you guys want to hear more about the paranormal stuff that's gone on in this house since we've been back, because I don't want to make videos. I said, I don't want to acknowledge this. And Tina would tell you guys better about it. So maybe we'll do something like that. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to hear more about the stuff that's gone on here. Let me just tell you that um, Tina had this glass plate and I somehow blew it up with my mind. Continuing... Very cold lasagna. Oh, I like that screen name. He asks, what's your favorite GTS match you've ever wrestled in? Okay, so well, listen, there's been 10 years of GTS wrestling. And, and it's, I do like every week, I'm like, oh, that was my favorite match. Like, I, I love when I really do like a banger. Like my match with Tarzan, that scaffold match from a few days ago. It's one of my favorite matches that I've ever done. I thought that was really good. Um, you know what match I really liked? It was me versus Jungle Jim for the GTS Championship. It was two summers ago. Jungle Jim stuffed me in a refrigerator and they blew it up with fireworks. But then I rose up from behind as the fiend and defeated him. That was that was a good match. That was that was one of my favorites. There's a lot of production in that. And I enjoyed it. B-Man Mario TV asks if I'm gonna be doing a live stream anytime soon. So every once in a while, like randomly, I go live on TikTok just to like something. Like, uh, we had a TikTok terrifier. It was, it was attacking me in my living room, my bedroom even. And we were live on TikTok. I wrestled Jeff Hardy pillow pet on the trampoline live on TikTok. I did a random TikTok, me and Flash Carter, when we were friends. We were doing, thank you for the glizzies. Thank you for the ice cream. We were doing the, you know, thank you for the little gifts and stuff. That was like the NPC thing. We did that. So you never know when I'm going to go live. But if I'm going to go live... Probably on TikTok, so you're probably gonna want to follow me there. You guys, I can't believe it! Triple H asked me a question. I think that's the real Triple H. Okay, I can clickbait it. No, you guys get mad when I do that. Do you guys get mad when I do that? I think it's funny. Like, like, oh, uh, Triple H asks Grim a question for the Q and A, and then it's like, oh, it wasn't the real Triple H. And you guys are like, oh, screw you, Grim, unsubscribe. You tricked me. 
Like, it's funny. It's what all YouTubers do. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Does that make you mad? Like, do people unsubscribe because of that? I don't know. I guess you guys didn't because you're still here. Okay, so, Triple H asks, okay, I got one. Now that you say GTS is forever, does that mean you're going to wrestle forever or are you going to retire? I'm curious. How long are you going to be doing this when you're 60 or 70? Well, listen, I'm going to be honest with you guys about something that I haven't been honest with you guys about for a long time. A lot of people figured it out anyway. I'm old. Okay, I'm 45 years old. A lot of people are like, what? Like, you know I'm not a teenager. You know I'm not in my 20s. But, like, a lot of people thought I was in, like, my early to mid-30s. I'm like, no, I'm actually 45. Like, how, right? Like, I'm old, man. So, for me to keep wrestling at 45 years old, like, AJ Styles, Edge, like, these are all guys who are, like, talking about, oh, we're going to be done soon. But Grim ain't saying that. Because I, I feel like I can keep going. I, I love doing this. I love wrestling. I love matches. I was just telling you, my favorite matches, like... I still feel like I got great matches in me. I just had a great match with Tarzan this week. So why would I quit? Why would I retire? I'm not going to do it at 60 or 70. Oh, see how I feel then? <laughs> I mean, Ric Flair still wants to wrestle. The dude's like 92. And he still wants to wrestle. If I can move and I could do it, I don't know if I'm going to be taking bumps. But, you know, you can get in there and gah, gah, You know, and you have a little fun. I watch all these old legends come out and do all the old school matches. They're fun. Tiger Shark 600 and Mr. Leon Swag have just let me know that Roman Grape was on Pro Wrestling Venom. Roman Grape? Who cares about Roman Grape? Do you guys remember Roman Grape? Yeah, me neither. That's really funny. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I appreciate you guys checking in and watching me and sharing the videos around to your friends. Subscribe, tap the bell, turn on the notifications. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.